great idea, Baxter. Tamper with the evidence. Backup? Who needs backup? <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to be one of us. <laughs> Man, you were one dumb son of a bitch. <clears throat> Sir? Hey, 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 Baxter, hey! Hey, just get back to taking them statements. Come on. Yeah, I'm the stupid one. Look, this is not your scene, Lieutenant. Just pay your specs and move on, please. Yeah, maybe it's not my scene, but it is my case. Tomorrow it'll be my case, and the next day, until we catch him. You do well to remember that, Sergeant. Look, I'm just following Captain's orders here. You know the procedure when a family member is... Yeah, well... Take all the time you need, LT. Last count of the times I wished you were dead. You do me a favor, con man. Tell Julie I miss her. She knows, Rex. She knows. I need to find my killer's trail before it goes cold. So with Rex over there, I honestly, uh, the first time I was playing a little bit of this game, thought that Rex and Ronan were brothers directly by blood. But uh, it turns out that Rex is actually uh, Julia's brother, which is uh, why he misses her. Anyway, we need to find the killer's trail. And to do that, we need to investigate everything here that uh, we can see to uh, see if we can learn anything new. <laughs> I need to get my eyes on Stuart's notepad, see what they've learned. So did you, did you see the man in the woods? Yes. No, I saw him. He killed that man in the street. I see. Look at all these people. He's got family. It'd be nice to know what they're talking about. I gotta see if I found any leads that I don't already know about. All right, to solve an investigation, we must first search for clues by inspecting suspicious objects and interacting with relevant people by using the possess ability. We can also zoom our camera. The one thing that I uh, that I don't appreciate about the zoom is once you're in zoom, you can't actually move. It's more of a uh, look around and actually visualize the situation. I also like that during the cutscene, the uh, blood that was coming out of our mouth was more of a, uh, a tattoo than it was blood. It was an interesting way to do that. Got some glass down here. It's in pieces, shattered glass from the window that I was thrown through. And inspect ourselves, overkill. Information about our death. We were beaten, thrown from a window, and then shot to death. Whoever my killer is, he sure wanted me dead. My backup gun. Backup gun. A whole lot of good it did me. Well, you should have shot while you were falling. You didn't shoot fast enough. Last cigarette. We'll forever be smoking that one. My last real cigarette. Good, I can finally say I quit. Sorta. Man, that's like a pyramid of uh, casings there. Killed by my own bullets. The killer fired multiple shots into me, brazenly, in public. All right, let's possess someone and uh, overhear this conversation, huh? Hey. What a 
at night, huh, Robinson? Yeah. Crazy. Ronan. Unbelievable. I don't get it. What was he even doing here? Asking for it. A witness called in saying he saw the bell killer enter a building. Ronan responds, disregards orders for backup. <laughs> Next thing you know, the bell killer tried to see if he could make him sprout angel wings. And then bam, 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 bam. You really Seven to the chest. You really point have... blank. You really have no idea when to quit, do you, Baxter? <laughs> you ever take a look at those tattoos of his? All that gangland prison crap? He was more criminal than cop. Yeah, he lived like a thief, he'd die like a thief. He was still a badge, dickhead. So you may notice uh, Baxter doesn't really like us. I came here because a witness called in to report a possible sighting of the Bell Killer at this location. I don't know what it is about serial killers, but they always make really good mysteries. I need to write a book. <laughs> I really do. Alright, let's get out of these people. Alright, our ability to correctly influence a person is dependent on the clues that we find in investigations. So basically, we cannot influence uh, this woman correctly until we learn as much as we can about the scene around here. So we can take a peek at uh, what's in his notes here. What you got for us? Speaking through the eyes of the living allows us to further our investigation by selecting the most relevant information we find. Okay, so we need to get forensics to a Rex as soon as possible. That's not really relevant. The uh, tenants that are missing are Cassandra and Joy. The only weapons found at the scene belong to Ronan. Now, to me, I honestly thought that the uh, tenants missing here, Cassandra and Joy, seems like the most relevant information. However, the game really likes the uh, only weapons found at the scene to be Ronin's. I, I don't think that this is, uh, is the most relevant information here. Maybe that's just me, but uh, I have played this first part and I know that this is the answer to this, but it's not my answer. So they haven't found any other weapons on the scene. He killed me with my own gun because he didn't have a weapon of his own. All right, the killer used my own weapon to kill me. Why didn't he bring his own weapons? Perhaps because he didn't need any. Hmm. I still think the other information is more relevant because uh, that seems like more of a lead to track down the uh, people that are missing. We can also possess uh, people over here and we can read their minds. Jeez, Ronan. Can't even turn around to look. Just stay calm. People need the cops to be calm now. Not everyone that you can possess really has relevant information, and uh, normally they will either have two statements or one statement. The third statement will always be one of the other two. Jeez, Ronan. Can't even turn around to look. So, just for reference, I will only be uh, tagging people for a mind read twice, and no more than that. How are we supposed to stay calm when they can't even protect their own? This is all just so out of control. Glad I'm not a cop. Yeah? Hard to believe that's a dead body right there. Is, is that why you're glad you're not a cop, or because cops got killed today? What, which reason, exactly? What's up, reporter? Why do I have to get these little town beats? Can't wait till I get assigned to Boston. What a dick. I don't care about the person that died behind me. I just care about my career. Why are cops so tight-lipped? Don't they know publicity will help them? Uh, you know, they probably don't want publicity because if they've got publicity, then every motherfucker is going to call in about their hot tip. That really doesn't matter. You're a dumb reporter. 
You're never getting to Boston. That makes me feel good inside. What's up, cameraman? Amazing. It's like she hits a switch and she's on. Yeah, because she doesn't give a shit about anyone. I could never do what she does. Yeah, because you actually have feelings. That's a good thing, cameraman. It's a good thing. What's up, cop? Looks like the boys are doing everything we can do. Um, yeah, I guess. Looks more like you're leaning against a wall and someone's staring at a notepad. I mean, I guess one guy is actually questioning someone. This whole thing is just weird. All of us cops just getting nowhere. Yeah, nowhere? You still call this no clues? I mean, there's a lot of shit going on right here. I mean, I guess all of the uh, materials used were technically not the killers, so there's not much you can do if he drops the gun. And it looked like he was wearing a glove, so, eh. What's up, Mr. Cop? Okay. Be patient with her. She's upset. She's not used to dealing with scenes like this. Yeah, probably not. If I could just get her to calm down. Let her memory do its work. Well, if you're just gonna stand there and write on a piece of paper, you're probably never gonna do that. Alright, now that we are in the person who has actually seen what happened, we can influence her. Now the problem with influencing is you get every single clue that you have picked up throughout the investigation, and you have to decide which one is actually going to uh, make her think about something? Um, or depending on whatever the situation is, you change that. Anyways, we have to uh, make sure that uh, we figure out how to uh, make her tell what she really saw. I'm guessing we're probably going to go for my death because shell casings, a cigarette, and a gun don't really seem like they're... Uh, all that relevant. I suppose broken glass isn't really relevant either. The people that are talking to each other and the notepad across the way are definitely not relevant. So let's see if my death is relevant. It's apparently not. That will not help her uh, jog her memory. Interesting. All right, well, let's see here. This one I don't actually remember which one it might be. We could actually uh, manage to fail this. I don't think I've actually ever failed anything in this game yet, but uh, it's possible. It is certainly possible. Well, let's go with Shattered Glass because she probably uh, saw me fall out of the glass. I don't know if she saw me getting shot. Nope. Apparently not. Gotta jog her memory with something else. Hmm. The gun? Maybe she saw me getting shot, actually? Nope. Hmm. Well, apparently, even if you fail, it really doesn't matter. It just keeps going. The shell casings? Seriously, is this really going to be what makes her remember? No. Okay. What exactly? Are we just, are we literally going for Bell Killer here? That's what we're going for, isn't it? Fuck you, game. That does nothing to do yeah, with I this. Saw that man in the hood, outside, uh, looking up at, at the top apartment on the fourth floor, I think. <laughs> that was really out of left field. I, I did not remember doing that one, and all the things that seemed extremely logical uh, did not matter, apparently. It was the conversation that was overheard. Nice. I, I probably should have noticed that because I think we overheard the conversation, and then we were uh, told that, hey, if you've got the information, then you can uh, influence someone. That's kind of ridiculous, though, that it was that specifically because that overheard conversation 
was not directly saying, hey, bell killer, bell killer, bell killer, let's remind her of bell killer. I don't know why that would be. Some, some of these are like really arbitrary, which ones you have to pick. Anyway, enough discussing that. A witness thinks that the killer was headed to the top floor apartment intentionally. It wasn't random. Another thing that is uh, good to notice here. If you are possessing someone that is important, you will not have the option to read their mind. So um, in those cases, you usually want to remember that particular person because they may very well be uh, very useful later on. Anyway, let's conclude our investigation. My killer came here for a reason. But what was it? up there I must have some clues. Except that's my way in and it's closed. Fantastic. Well, here's my chance. I just need to follow Stuart into the building. Apparently someone decided to walk out. The cop's findings aren't leading to my killer's trail yet. I should check the top floor apartment. But before that, let's talk to the ghost, shall we? What's hey, up? excuse me. Do I need to wait for someone to open a door every time I want to go inside? Yeah, any buildings that were consecrated can be a bit tricky getting into, but once you're inside, it's smooth sailing. Same goes for getting out. Open doors, windows, whatever. It's all fair game. How many buildings are like this? Around here? Pretty much all of them. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Thanks. Sounds good to me. Let's get inside. That right there, my friends, was a demon. Just you. I knew I heard something. I find it strange that the demon doesn't immediately attack you if it was right behind you. Anyway, let's look around and see if we can find anything. Nothing really doing right here. Got a laundry pool room. That is not the kind of pool I was expecting to find on the other side of this. Something to reveal and collect, apparently. There are many types of objects to discover in Salem. Pay attention to your surroundings as you explore. Even the simplest paper can reveal secrets about Salem. All right, for a watery grave, we need to collect six more from here for a total of seven. Once you collect these uh, various things in buildings and areas and wherever the hell you are, you'll unveil a story about the uh, building that you're in. And it looks like this is the edge of the world because I cannot go back through there. 